Hello everybody, I am Mika Seppele. In this video I will discuss the first tricks needed in order to integrate rational functions. A rational function is a polynomial p divided by some other polynomial q. So an example of a rational function is x cubed plus 1 and that sum divided by the sum x squared plus x plus 1. This is a rational function. In the case of this rational function, x cubed plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1, the degree of the denominator is less than the degree of the numerator. This means that we may perform long polynomial division, and in fact, if this is possible, we always have to do that. After a polynomial division, we get that the rational function x cubed plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1 equals x minus 1 plus the remainder 2 divided by the sum x squared plus x plus 1. Now, for integration, this is much simpler than the original form of the rational function. Therefore, for integration, one has to perform polynomial division first, if possible. So by this rewriting, x cubed plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1 has become x minus 1 plus 2 divided by x squared plus x plus 1. And now this still needs to be integrated. And uh, the first part is easy. That is to integrate the polynomial x minus 1. And then the second part is to integrate dx divided by x squared plus x plus 1. This still poses some problems. From the first part, we get that the integral of x minus 1 is x squared divided by 2 minus x. And then we are left with uh, two times integral of dx divided by x squared plus x plus 1. The task is now to compute two times the integral of dx divided by x squared plus x plus 1. In order to be able to compute this integral, we have to perform a substitution. And in order to find the substitution that works, it is a good idea to complete the denominator into a square. So we observe that x squared plus x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 half, and that's sum squared plus 3 over 4. Now, this looks a little bit promising, because we know by the table of integrals how to compute the integral of the function 1 divided by 1 plus variable squared. That is simply arctangent of the variable. Now here we have x plus 1 half squared plus 3 over 4. So we have to still manipulate this expression and we take 3 over 4 as a common factor in the denominator. Then the term x plus 1 half squared becomes 2 divided by square root of 3 times x plus 1 divided by square root of 3 and that squared. And this after us having taken 3 over 4 as a common factor. And then when we take 3 over 4 as a common factor, what remains in the denominator still is plus 1. So we have the rewriting 2 times integral of dx divided by x squared plus x plus 1 equals 8 over 3 times the integral of dx divided by 2 divided by square root of 3 x plus 1 divided by square root of 3 and that sum squared plus 1. And this suggests that the substitution u equals 2 divided by square root of 3 times x plus 1 divided by square root of 3 will work. Now, for this substitution, du equals 2 divided by square root of 3 dx, and what we get is 8 divided by 3 times integral dx divided by 2 divided by square root of 3 x plus 1 divided by square root of 3, and that's some squared plus 1. This becomes simply 4 divided by square root of 3 times integral of du divided by u squared plus 1 and we are almost done. 
Therefore, by the table of integrals, we conclude that 8 over 3 times integral of dx divided by the sum 2 divided by square root of 3 times x plus 1 divided by square root of 3 and that squared plus 1 equals 4 divided by square root of 3 arctangent of u plus the constant of integration. Now we return back to the original variable and we get for this integral the value 4 divided by square root of 3 times arctangent of the sum 2 divided by square root of 3 times x plus 1 divided by square root of 3 and then still plus the constant of integration. So now we combine the previous computations and we observe that integral of x cubed plus 1 divided by the sum x squared plus x plus 1 dx equals first x squared divided by 2 minus x plus 2 times integral of dx divided by x squared plus x plus 1. And for this last expression we got the value 4 divided by square root of 3 arctangent of the sum 2 divided by square root of 3 times x plus 1 divided by square root of 3 and then we still have to add the constant of integration. So this is my answer. In summary, let us recall that rational functions are quotients of polynomials. In order to integrate a rational function, one must perform polynomial division always if possible. And this is possible if the degree of the numerator is greater or equal than the degree of the denominator. If that is the case, then one can perform a polynomial division and for integration one must always perform this polynomial division. Now, an additional substitution may be enough to compute the remaining integral, but in most cases a new trick called the partial fraction decomposition is necessary.